Hey guys, welcome. Yeah, so by the end of this video, you'll appreciate my claim that former U.S. President James Garfield is the best U.S. President to have ever lived. Why you ask? Because he came up with his own proof of the Pythagorean Theorem, and this was his construction that helped him. Um, yeah, so in his construction, he took, say, this blue right triangle and made a copy of it that's a 90 degree counterclockwise rotation, which is this other blue right triangle, and he adjoined them or attached them in this fashion. Um, yeah? Okay. And then here and this gap, he connected this corner here to this corner to form a third triangle. And this third triangle is a right isosceles triangle. It's isosceles because these two sides are the same, right? But it's a right isosceles because it's got a right angle right here. And to prove that this is a right angle, note that in this blue right triangle, alpha plus beta is 90. And right here, we have 180 degrees. <clears throat> Sorry, we have 180 degrees right here. Um, and part of that 180 degrees are alpha and beta, which sum to 90, meaning this angle right here and the white triangle has to be 90 also. Therefore, the white triangle here is a right isosceles um, right triangle. Okay, now put together the three triangles form a trapezoid. Yeah, it's easy enough to see that it's a trapezoid. So what we're going to do to prove uh, the Pythagorean theorem, which is to prove this here, is observe that first the area of the trapezoid calculated in one way is the traditional area of trapezoid formula, which is the average of the bases times the height, right? And so if the two bases of the trapezoid are called x and y, then we add them, divide them by 2. That's the average of the basis times the height. That's the area of a trapezoid, right? Note that um, x and y here are played by a and b, right? So those are the bases of our trapezoid. This is our trapezoid, right? Okay, so we have um, x plus y is a plus b divided by 2. That's here. And then the height uh, of our trapezoid is this distance here. This distance is a plus b in length, right? And therefore, the height is a plus b right here. And notice that this is the same as a plus b all squared divided by 2. So let's observe that. And we also know what a plus b all squared is. So I've made use of that fact. Yeah? Okay, cool. So this is one way to calculate the area of the trapezoid. But there's another way to calculate the area of the trapezoid. And that's by adding the area of this white uh, right isosceles triangle to... Uh, twice the area of one of the blue right triangles, right? So this is the other way to find the area of the trapezoid. Okay, so if we make the appropriate calculations, the area of the white isosceles tr uh, right triangle is one half times c squared. And then we have two times the area of one of the blue right triangles is uh, one half ab, right? And if we simplify that all the way, we get this. So this here is the area of the trapezoid, but this here is also the area of the trapezoid. And it doesn't matter how we calculate the area of the trapezoid, it's the same trapezoid, so it's got to um, have the same area regardless of the methods. So we conclude that this here has to be equal to this here, right? So, um, ah, I didn't mean to slide it. Uh, please don't make me record it just because of that. Okay, okay, so, so then this equation has to hold true. If we multiply both sides of this equation by 2, then we clear uh, the dividing by 2 that appears on the left and on the right, and we get this instead. But wait, from here, upon canceling the 2ab, that is subtracting 2ab from both sides, we get the Pythagorean theorem. Isn't that cool? I thought so. And yeah, I hope you're convinced that Garfield is at minimum a really, really cool president. Keep watching. Take care.